the plants are moved along the conveyor belt and into this, we call it Stargate. <laughs> <laughs> Stargate. 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 <laughs> Simply because you will see it in a moment once it starts. Um, first of all, that, there it goes, it moves round. And in, with each move, movement in the arc, it's spraying. Each ah. movement, one plant. At the, same, at the same time, you see that the plants are in fact sitting in uh, met metal rings, and they turn as well oh. when, when they're being sprayed. In other words, so it's moving this way, and the plant and the spray arm is moving this way. In that way, we uh, apply, in fact, a very, very low co uh, amount of compound, but the plant is correctly sprayed. The compounds which are being used are here, prepared, they have, they're in a, it's a DMSO, stock solution, and they are uh, diluted to the required concentration immediately before they are applied to the plants, which is what that ro uh, robot arm is uh, now doing. Look, of course, ultrasonic to make sure that uh, if it's not a solution, it's at least a good fine suspension. So that, of course, is the problem that the concentration we work, we're working at. Uh, many things are not, in fact, in complete solution, but uh, that is simply physical chemistry. Is it the, the correct volume is then, as, as you can see there, it's being sucked up. You can see they are moving slowly. And then the next, rep, the next plants have been brought into position, and they will be rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, many people <laughs> are often a bit rather <laughs> shocked when when the, the robot are, the robot just simply lets the thing drop. But it's meant. To. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that the case. Does it run 24 hours a day? Uh, no, we normally have one. Uh, it cools as well. Except, of course, you have to have somebody to take the plant up at the other end, and you also have to have somebody.